Panjal le hamila hai na. Now I would like to call upon stage our next speaker for today, Nishan Neupane from Grade 11 Morning, with his topic, Woman Empowerment. Greetings to all the ladies and gentlemen. Greetings to all the ladies and gentlemen present here at this event. I am more than grateful to stand for this crowd and address a sensitive issue today. But first, I am more than thankful to Global College Management for this platform. Well, women empowerment might seem easy in a simple context, but people have been misunderstanding this concept for a really long time now. This is time for us to correct the concept of women empowerment that we have in our head. Women are already strong. Women empowerment is about changing the way the world perceives their strength. Women empowerment is about empowering women in a new level now. After the wave of first and second empowerment and feminism, this third women empowerment is not just important for women, but for their counterpart, male. That's why I'm here representing a male is speaking for a woman. Women, marginalized and guidelined, sidelined and depressed and suppressed for a really long time now. Well, this all changed after the waves of feminist and feminism rising to the top of the world. Empowering and letting them know that their voices are equally strong as male counterparts. Letting them know about their rights and what they deserve soulfully. Empowerment has always been issues since centuries ago. Well, in this age, United Nations and many other organizations are working hard. For 62 million children out there, especially girls, out of the reach of education. For 70 Nigerian girls who were kidnapped while going to school. For all the women that were sexually assaulted and violated throughout this time, empowerment is needed for them. Women and their rights have to do a lot with the development of this world. If we could take women together with men, this world would be a better place to live. This world would be a better place to invest on. Well, it can be a reality, but the main goal of women empowerment is gender equality. We don't reduce gender equality through women empowerment. We empower women to give them gender equality. We empower women to change the way that they have been treated. And this is being made possible by women like Malala and Shimanda, Anna, all these sacrifices, protest, and all this agony against their counterparts' narrow mind. Well, Strength was needed when we were living in caves. Strength was needed when we were fighting the wild. But in this day, strength is creativity and motivation. In this day, strength is innovation in person. Well, I don't think no women are less capable than men in creating and innovating the world to a better place. Well, what can we do more to change the circumstances that we are facing nowadays. Well, without doubt, we cannot always blame culture. People make culture, culture don't make people. That's why it's time for us to change our thinking and to change the culture that we have been manifested to. It's time to rise from above the level that we have been given. It's time to realize that it's time to realize that we need more than what we have been given. It's time to realize we need to really embrace what we take as granted. So I really hope that women today here are inspired and will work for the women themselves. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Nishan.